So guys, I am back with another Lords of the Fallen video and today I bring you three of the best early game Viger farms to earn you those easy levels, rank up and get quite OP real early. How's it going guys? My name is DPJ and if you do enjoy the video, leaving a like really helps out and if you like what you see and want to see more, be sure to subscribe. So as you can see right here guys, I am a level 68, I haven't even beat the third boss yet i'm still exploring and finding loot and leveling up and with the three farms today guys this will help you easily gain those levels i've got a farm that's uh pre first boss of paeta i've got a couple farms that are later on as well just after the second boss i mean these you do not want to miss okay so we're going to start now this one is pre paeta pre the first boss in this game this one you can use if you've just started the game and you want to level up to actually help you in that fight against Pyatta who can be a bit of a pain in the ass we've all been there people we all know so this one won't earn you as much as the ones I'll show you later on in the video but it will still earn you easy levels real early on okay so you want to come to the vestige of Marco the axe this one is more or less one of the first ones you come to more or less guys as you start progressing and from this point you'll see where we're at right here you simply want to run this way now there's going to be a couple of enemies up here that you want to take these guys out just like so there's one here and there's one there these are all that these are all vaga i mean these won't earn you crazy amounts um, and considering the farms i'll show you later on today this one itself won't earn you crazy amounts but it is still one of the best ones to do early game uh, pre pirate like I said the first boss who can be a bit of a pain in the ass and I know a lot of people are struggling and looking for farms to get those early levels that's exactly what this one is so these guys are just going to take out I mean you can if you want to you can run past these it doesn't matter but we're just going to take them out anyway because they're quite easy there's one behind here as well that you have to be careful with I'll put on his slow sword to demonstrate this video but it doesn't matter okay so this is where the farm basically gets better and easier so come down here guys to this point right here and you want to go into that umbral state just like so now from here guys you'll notice that when you run down here just run past all these cocoons these balls of goo whatever just run past them pop the ones and run past all these and you'll see what they actually do is guys they start popping out enemies these are easy to kill they barely do any damage to you and I mean you can take them out this easy guys I mean it's as simple as that just make sure there's no stragglers left there you go there's a few more there and as you can see you get probably about almost a thousand per run here which again for early leveling is very very decent and then guys you simply just run this way I mean anyone's that spawn you may as well take them out it's free Viger they're easy to kill just run this way simply back up this hill guys and you want to come this route i mean oh we missed them we don't want to miss none of that and then you can go down this way lock onto this dude there make sure you hit him before he turns around just get the get your combo off straight away again i've got a lot of slow weapons man okay so he took him out and you want to come down here just like so there's going to be two, three enemies left including this one so just take this guy out just like so and then you got these two here just take them out just like so i mean if you're confident you can go down this way there's a ton of enemies down here too but if you're early game and you're struggling i'd probably forget about them for now um come back up the way you just came down guys oh bit of feeling mate lost there what's going down and come back this way and then go back to your resting point spend those uh spend that viger level up the couch if you want to or rest Vince repeat is up to you what i will say is early game once you have enough for a level spend that level you probably want to concentrate on health too uh, but you'll also earn from doing this guys over and over you earn quite a few weapons material things things that will help you but if you take advantage of this again once you're done once you've rusted all the enemies will have reset you can go and do the exact same thing again and again just rinse and repeat this over and over like i said so it's definitely an early game farm which really works it helped me out it's helped many other people out i posted this basically day one and a lot of people enjoyed it helping them out so yeah again if you're fresh and new to lords of the fallen and you want a decent farm this is great for that 
Okay, so now, guys, we're going to progress on. So once you've taken out and beaten the second boss, or you've beat Pieta, you've gone past Pieta, you'll come to another boss called the Scourge Sister Delif. Now, this is a boss which is way, way, way easier to take out in comparison to, um, to Pieta. I just know two which ways about that. So what you want to do now, guys, is, I mean, you'll, you'll come to this point. I'll actually run here for you just in case you are unsure so let's just say you've taken out or you've just got to the second boss of the scourge sister delif these two farms basically take place from the same spot one's afk the other one you don't have to fight anything and you're earning i don't even know 3000 viga per minute easy without fighting so basically guys you'll come down to once you beat paeta and you come down the uh sky rest uh waypoint You'll come down this way right here. You just make a right turn up into this building and you'll come to the eventual vestige of this one right here. This is the vestige, the vestige of Chebu you'll come to before you go on to fight the second boss of the Scourge, Sister Delif. Again, she's real easy. Real easy. She ain't got none of these long ass swords or nothing like that. You can time her attacks, you can counter them pretty pretty simply to be honest so from this point guys uh, if you haven't got to the second boss yet this is your this is the route you'll take so you'll come up here take these letters as well and go up a little further and just like so and you're just gonna run this way just like so now you want to be careful across these beams i just fell off a couple of times my first time so then jump down here and then we'll go back on ourselves jump down here and then this will be the boss fight. This will be the boss room. This will be the uh, sister Delif. It's quite easy, like I said. But once you take it out, you can then simply just progress on. And just keep coming this way. Just like so. And just like so. And keep coming up, guys. Now you keep this guy off. See you later. Take that Viger. Take anything he drops. And come up this way. Now again, there will be enemies in your way. You may have to take out. The first time you get here but nothing too serious to be honest there's also here um if you haven't activated this yet there's a what do you call these an anchor between realms you want to activate this guys it's actually quite useful saves you coming all the way back from the other vestige if you die around here so make sure you activate that then what you want to do guys is just take a right here run up here guys probably stand under this balcony probably get a little bit further watch this guy when he tries to attack you just dodge and you want to climb up this ladder normally that guy up there does fall off but sometimes he don't actually you can oh no there he's right there so here guys you probably just want to fight him just to otherwise he's just going to shoot you the ass pain in pain in the backside so now here you want to go into that umbral state and just like so and then we want to use this uh I can't remember what these are called, guys. Someone help me out. What do you call it? I know it's a platform move, but I can't remember what it's called. But either or, guys. Anyone come this way. From here, there's actually another spiky head dude behind that pillow. So from here, you just want to peg it towards that ladder. So just go as fast as you can to the ladder. And just climb it straight away. Don't worry about nothing else. Just get up this thing. Because you want to get to that second... Well, that, that, well is it the third uh, vestige of the video? That's the one you want to get to. So take these guys out. Do what you gotta do. See you later. Did he die? Okay, he died. Now we're gonna jump across. Watch that guy who shoots you. We're gonna jump across onto this. Then you wanna use your range attacks on this dude actually first. We have to suck his soul away. So I'll be careful of that. So suck his soul away. Lock onto him. Do what you gotta do. Give me that shiz. Now you wanna use your range attacks on him. Boop, boop, boom. Now the other enemies here you haven't really got to worry about. They're soft hitting, so just here, jump straight across, and then jump straight across again. And then, guys, get up the ladders. I mean, you can take them out if you want to. There's actually an item down there to pick up. It's a weapon, I believe. You'll see. It's actually a decent weapon as well. So from here, guys, run past this dude and take these ladders again right here. And go up here. Now, from this point, guys, we're just going to run jump and take a left i mean again you can fight these if you want to you may have to actually activate this platform too so be careful of that jump across it when it comes across to you 
and then you want to run around this bend almost back on yourself and here you want to be careful because enemy, enemies if you didn't take them out will shoot at you across there so yeah now we're just going to pull this across just like so again what watching once you're in the middle platform you should be okay but hey if you've got the health to sponge it just sponge it otherwise take them out while you're down there and again pull this towards you just like so and we're basically now at that that vestige we want to be at so we run up here take a right here run along this beam jump off and be careful there's a spiky head dude inside here so dodge there because he will come running straight out at you and then you're at the vestige so here just rest straight away now this vestige is home to two of the best farms i have seen in this game the one my is my variant of a farm I've seen many many people do and it includes this big guy right here. The second one's an AFK farm which I'll show you in a quick second. So from this vestige guy, see that spiky dude in front here? Just simply run past him. Run past him, he will follow you, then simply just run off. You just simply run off and die. What will happen is guys, he follows you off, he dies, you get his Vyga, you spawn at the top right here guys, you basically blast off the other enemy here and I'm pretty sure there's an enemy up there as well that dies and then you simply just run back you run back, rest and you can rinse and repeat that over and over and over again it is that simple it is that simple you can do this for as long as you want again just run straight past him and just run straight off don't worry about nothing just run straight off he follows you you respawn up top you blast off that other dude just like so collect all that fire just like so and then just run back and rest it's absolutely crazy i mean i'm pretty sure this will get patched pretty soon along with the afk farm as well because these are just wild people they're real wild one more time Run straight past the dude. Jump off. You respawn back up top. You'll blast this dude off. Just like so. Again, there's Viga here, so I'm pretty sure the guy up top does die as well with this. So that's where you're getting, I don't know, six, seven, eight hundred Viga per every time you do this. And how many times can you do this in a second? I mean, in a minute. It's all dependent on your loading, I guess. Because when you rest, is that loading bar. It's, well if you're on pc i'm guessing this is almost instant for you so yeah i mean on xbox it's about five ten seconds so hey but there we have it guys you can rinse and repeat that over and over if you want to okay so the afk farm takes again advantage of this vestige point the vestige of blind agatha so once you are here guys you want to enter that umbral realm enter away from here run past this dude just like so. He can be a bit of a pain in the ass, but get past him. Just run past him, just like so. Sometimes he hits you. You want to take it right. Jump off here. I'm just going to use a bit of a health here because he clapped me. And then once you are down here, guys, what I would say is take that, take out this guy here. who he shoots you from afar. He can ruin this for you. Uh, so I'm just going to do that. Burn! What up? There we go. He's down. There we go. Okay, so from here, you want to make your way to this center platform. So use that lantern and pull it. What the heck? That happens to me so often. I'm locked on. Doesn't happen. Nothing. Okay, so from here, guys, you want to go into the center platform. Just like so. And then, because we're in that umbral state, that umbral realm, um, Eventually, guys, after about five minutes or so, that I call him the Red Reaper. I'm not sure what he is, but he he spawns in. He is an absolute animal to try and fight. But if he dies, he drops you. I'm not, I'm not even sure exactly how much Vigor it is, but it's in the thousands. Over time, it does deplete. So after about five to ten deaths of him dying, which he'll just die instantly from this spot. Um, it drops down to about a couple thousand, but you do this AFK. So you come to this corner, guys, just like so. Get as close to this corner as you possibly can without falling off, and then just stay here. 
go do something else put your controller down go afk do whatever you want what you'll have what happen is that red reaper because obviously we're in the humble state when that eyeball fills up it will turn red as you can see just under that viga you'll have a three times multiplier on the viga you will earn and that will stay constant and what will happen is if you sit here for about an hour or so two hours or so whatever you'll earn infinite amounts of viga but expect after about an hour or so guys to earn upwards of a hundred thousand uh, and to be honest it's afk isn't as fast as the farmer just showed you but again it's afk you ain't got to do nothing you just stand here um, now what i will say is as well guys i'd probably go into your settings and turn multiplayer off because if someone joins you and then kicks your ass while you're afk it'll probably ruin this for you so yes keep that in mind guys but as you're seeing on screen now this is probably about after 45 minutes to an hour of viga collecting and i got just under 80 odd fires or was it just over 80 odd fires i can't remember it's a clip i recorded last night but either or guys this place will earn you absolute crazy amounts of that wagon but yep that is it guys three incredible farms early game guys if you enjoyed the video leaving a like really helps out if you like what you see and want to see more be sure to subscribe and hopefully guys i will see you on that next one